Okay, today we're going to do crepes with a sweet, smooth cream cheese and berry filling. So, this crepe recipe is so simple and so wonderful. Um, the main thing about crepes is the pan and the flipping. So we're gonna get to that fun part as well too. This is what's gonna happen. We have over here, I have one cup of flour along with one egg and a cup of milk. I also have some vanilla extract in my milk as well too. So I'm going to put my milk and vanilla in there. I'm also going to crack my egg. I like to crack my egg into a different container first and then put it into whatever you're gonna put it into. Um, that way, like if I dropped the eggshell in here, I wouldn't be able to see it. So, egg's gonna go in. And just mix this nicely. Kinda turn your bowl as you go. Be scared to really get that muscle in there. So this batter should be pretty thin. Um, pancake batter is something that people normally um, kind of get wrong and don't know it. So um, the batter actually should be thin. So if it's pretty thick, you may want to add a little bit more milk to that. And if you're wondering, you know, how can it get thick if I use one cup? It depends on how you actually measure. Um, when you're measuring flour, you never want to pack it into your um, cup mix, cup mixture or cup um, measurer whatever you want to call that. Um, you just actually just want to lightly kind of let it sift out some and then scrape the top off. If you press it into it, you're actually putting a bit more in there and you, your scale and your taste and flavor, even the consistency is going to throw off just a little bit. So just be careful how you measure. Other than that, you should be fine. So this looks pretty good. Nice and thin, okay, like that. I think that looks perfect. So from here, I want to go to my pan, have my pan nice and warm. I'm going to add just a touch of melted butter to my pan and kind of swirl that around a little bit. A little bit much, so I'm going to pour some of that out. There you go. I'm also going to dry it off. So you just want to coat it very nicely, just like that. Next, this is the key and actually ladling into your pan and also swirling as you ladle. So, I wanna get a nice ladle amount. I will not use what's all in this total ladle. I'm actually just gonna use maybe half of that. Okay, bring your pan and as you ladle, swirl so you can actually get it nice and thin. Okay. There you go. Nice and thin. Excellent. And then let it sit, okay? What you're gonna see is actually gonna start to dry up and go towards the middle. Um, that's what you want. Just let it sit. You don't have to develop any color. It's actually gonna be kind of pale. Let it be pale, that's perfectly fine. Let it sit and give it a shake. That's what you wanna see. That's how you know you're making some crepes at that point. When it's shaking nicely in your pan. Let it develop a little bit more, a little bit longer. And the main part to this is the flipping. Okay, you guys ready for a flip? Okay. Once it's fairly dry, towards the front, flip. Set it back down, okay? I'm gonna do it again so you guys can check that out. But you wanna let it sit and develop some more of that, let it dry out a little bit more. It should be nice and thin, okay? I have a plate here and I have paper towel on the plate. I just want to soak up any excess butter so I don't want it to be an oily finish or really greasy. I just want to give it a little bit of love and just kind of let it sit right there like that. I'm going to do that one more time so we can kind of check out what actually happened, okay? So, I'm going to take my ladle, middle of your pan, as you pour, slow pour, Swirl as you go. Notice I'm not moving my ladle, but I'm swirling my pan. That way I can try my best to get a nice circle out of that. If it's not a perfect circle, it's fine. Julia Child says, never apologize for anything. Okay. Let that sit. Let it turn some more. There we go. And then let it dry. Okay. 
Just gonna move that to the side. That's gonna sit there, I'm gonna let that dry out just a little bit. If you find this happens, I like to show people these things. If you find that it's not moving the way you want, it's okay, perfectly fine. I just wanna use a little spoon here. Take a little bit of your butter and just give it a little bit of love. I'm just gonna move my spoon. My spoon is just gonna help try to encourage the butter to go underneath it. So we can kind of help lubricate it just a little bit more like I need, and there you go. You're back in business, okay? Let that kind of, and flip. Very nice, okay? Now, this is my other crepe that's already set. I'm just gonna give it a little light dab just to make sure I don't have too much butter. That's just my own thing. Now, this is cream cheese. Um, I have a half block of cream cheese, little eight ounce blocks. I have a half block of cream cheese, a half a stick of butter, um, and I use powdered sugar as well. You can use powdered sugar to taste. Um, it depends on how sweet you actually want your final product to be. So I like mine kind of sweet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna spread this filling nicely on here. Beautiful. It's getting kind of soft because of the heat from our crepe. That's really nice. Now I'm gonna take some fruit. You can use any fruit you want. I'm using um, strawberries and blackberries. This is gonna be wonderful. I'm quite excited about this. So, what I'm gonna do, just gonna hold it, one fold, and I'm gonna fold it one more time, okay? Now, you don't have to do this in, so, inside of one of these. I just like to do it just because you get really, it kinda helps it to kinda dry it out a little bit more, okay? One more time, I'm actually gonna put this on there. Make sure you turn off your heat. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna show you how to plate this lovely situation. I think this one got some color on it. It's gonna be pretty as well too, okay? Kind of spread that just a touch. It's gonna be kind of warm, so that's fine. Let the warmth just soak into it. Give some fruit. Okay. Don't you run away, fruit. A few more pieces, because I like a lot of fruit. And then again, I'm just gonna use this to just kind of fold it over. Fold it over one more time. This one has a little bit of color and I like that even better than the first. That's gonna sit right there. And then you can take your strawberries. You can garnish in so many ways, but this is gonna be what your final product actually looks like. You can also top it with some of your berries that you chop, um, but definitely it's gonna be a wonderful finish. Delicious, delicious breakfast. Enjoy.